Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Cindy's Home Kitchen. No, Cindy, and behind the camera is my son Michael. Sorry that I'm laughing, but I'm going to tell you why I'm laughing. Hey. Uh, I bought this steak uh, a couple of days ago and I marinated it with olive oil, um, salt, and uh, garlic powder uh, to cook it for me because I like my steak. And I haven't cooked it because I've been really busy. So now when I talk it, I'm like telling Michael, this is not a T-bone. I think this is a sirloin, right? But sirloin has no bone. Right. So this is, I think this is a T-bone. But the bone is not like a teeth, but the bone is there. You see? So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to sear it. Like I said, I, I mean, this has been marinated for 48 hours with salt, uh, garlic powder, and olive oil. Now I got here some... Um, some garlic that I'm gonna shop and I already put a pan here and this is all I'm gonna get a lid. Let's see what it has to be covered because then it's gonna jump out and I'm gonna finish it with uh, some chopped garlic and uh, um, some chopped garlic and steak sauce that I have right there. Let me just cut this a little bit like that. Uh, it doesn't have to be that fine, but it has to be chopped up. In a second, here we go. Okay. So now what you're going to do, you're going to take your thongs, you see how that is very, very thin? And uh, we're going to take the steak with the thongs, you see so uh, how thick it is. So that means that uh, we're going to have to turn it to make sure that this is nice and crispy. But I'm not going to do it right now, so I'm going to put that here like that, and I'm going to cover it. And I'm going to cover it, and I'm going to leave it like that for like uh, three, four minutes. Okay, so after these three four minutes, we're gonna come back, we're gonna turn it to the other side. After we turn it to the other side, then we're gonna go around it. Then we're gonna put some of, some of our steak sauce on it, and then we're gonna take it and cut it in slices, and that's the recipe, okay? Now that steak was $22, and I got it for 50% off, plus another 20% that I had off in the supermarket, and I paid $11 for it. Now this is a really, really big piece of meat, no, I'll be looking at it. Like that. Come here. Just be careful. Do it from the back. It's just kind of like jumping. Yeah. But that's how it's going to cook because it boils it does, uh, you know, stretch up like that. It's very, very hot. So why don't you guys go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Press the notification button and we'll be right back. Stay tuned for this video, guys. Don't go away. Okay, guys, so I think it should be, look how nice it is. Yeah, it is nice and cooked on that side, but now we got to cut all like this. If I need to get it, I can jump a little bit more because we don't have to, like, you know what I'm saying? Bring uh, uh, the stove a little bit more, you know? The stove and stuff, I know that grease, you get mad, but it's going to be your turn to clean that. So you see, guys, you have to cook the side of it. You cannot just, uh, Serve some on a steak and then you have all that fat all white and this nice and tan. That's not a good thing. Is it, Michael? No, it's gross. Yeah, it is. Of course it is gross. So that's what we do. I don't know if it's getting, get it. See? It's getting a thing. But I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to let you guys go because you guys know what to do. If uh, you just tune in, go ahead and subscribe, guys, and like this video and stay tuned. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for like two, three minutes until I hold it like this. Until all the edges are nice and crispy and toasty, okay? So we'll be right back. Okay, guys, don't go away and stay tuned. Love you. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I did color most of it, right, Michael? It is color. Do you think I need to color it like a little bit more, a little bit longer like that? You can color the other side. The other side is a bump. Oh, yeah, bump. Let's call it a bone, like Michael said. Let's put a little bit of olive oil because it's drying out. And it's yeah, kind of like coffee. messy. Yeah, I know. Ginger, be like careful. Messy, but it doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? We'll clean it up. Ginger, be careful. You gotta clean Sorry, it guys, my dog, she likes to come in here and throw. Yeah, I know. Ginger, be careful, mama. How is that side? Looks better. Looks better? Yeah, it's fine. So what we're going to do right now, guys, I'm going to put it on that side, I'm going to lower it, and I'm going to put half a steak of unsalted, of unsalted butter, and I shot three cloves of garlic, and I'm going to put it in there, and then what we're going to do is, 
I'm going to let that melt. And as that smells, we're going to throw it. it. Yeah, we're going to throw this on top of the steak. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's good. And we're going to go like that to finish it. Okay. So this is a, a tea bone. A tea bone. Yeah, it's a tea bone. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but this is a good size. Like, if you go to the, to the uh, to a restaurant, they will charge you so much money. Oh, I, I, we went we went to Sawgrass the other day and they wanted like forty five dollars for a little tiny piece of sirloin. Oh yeah, see? And you just put all the juice inside. I mean, why do they charge so much when the steak doesn't cost that much? I don't know. It does, it, right? Forty five dollars for like this much steak. Yeah. But what did you pay for that? Uh, Eleven dollars. This was twenty two bucks. It was on yeah. sale. Yeah, it said eleven something, but I ended up paying like nine dollars and sixty eight cents. Oh, you're for a good time eating that. After my, that I'm looks not gonna good, eat the whole mama. thing. I'm gonna cut it in slices and then we can share it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna need three more pieces, much like this restaurant style, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. So this is one how we make it in restaurants, and a lot of people they uh, basting it, sauteing it. You have to baste it. I'm gonna turn it around. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Ooh, it looks crisp, Here we go. crispy. Crispy. Yeah, I can't eat a steak that's not almost well done or medium well. I know some people like it rare. It's not even cooked. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a little pink in the middle, but this is a steak that is, uh, you know what I'm saying? No, you know who it's eats it? You know who eats it almost raw, Chef Ramsey? Huh? He almost eats it raw. Well, they, uh, depends. Some, most people, they eat like their steak, like, uh, medium rare. And some other people like it uh, medium. Uh, this people like it rare. They like it medium. They like it medium rare, right? Uh, medium rare, uh, medium well, well done, right? Medium well and well and well done. Those are the five categories of the steak, right? You see? Keep on doing that. Here we go. We're almost done with that. And that is it. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this off, guys. I'm gonna put the steak in a, the wood here. Okay? And I put it like that. Let me see where my knife is. When you get my knife, my knife is keep on showing that over there. I'm coming here away. Let me get a fork, because we want to try it. It's really nice to see. Excuse me, my cook. Let me put this back here. And I'm gonna cut here, my cook. how it is. See? A lot of people like it cooked more, but I'm just going to cut it like that. actually perfect. Right? Well, you don't want it that uh, thing, though, you know? You don't want to do that. But this is really good. See, it's a little bit more thin here. That's medium, uh, medium. That's medium well. Juicy, I think guys. this is exactly look at no, what medium this well is. is pink in the middle only. So what I'm gonna do because I don't like it like that. I like it more cooked after I cut this here. So for the, a lot of people don't like it, you know, that red inside because no, this that's, is a that's big. that's beautiful. This juicy. Pink. Yeah, like that. It's juicy. Yeah. I'm gonna try a little piece to see, but I wanted to cut it all and just have it like that. Just put it over here, my real quick like this. So you guys can see, I want to do a tip for you guys. So if you guys want to go ahead and make your own steak or the supermarket, get uh, the best kind of meat that you like of your preference. You know what I'm saying? Go home, do what I did. If you want to go ahead and, um, and uh, 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 imitate this recipe, you know, you want to do it like this, go ahead and do it like this. You can ingredients in the description. Are Watch the, the video. I'm just going to go like this for a little bit. And the same, you see, this is the same juice as up the steak. Mm. Better than restaurant. Where's my piece? Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Mm. But, I really have, it only has garlic and salt. Mmm. That's two ingredients. And then a lot of people, they like their steak sauce. I'm just gonna put a little bit here. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Just gonna put a little bit of steak sauce like that. And I'm wow. Gonna cook pork. Yeah, if you cook that, you can't cook that and anymore. No, you can't because then it's gonna dry out. Mm. Wow. Perfect. You gotta try it. I'm telling you right now. Mm. 
this is so good and so delicious. Look at that. You can see the glistening of the butter, you know? And here's a little bit of steak, Michael, here. Now tell me how that went with that steak sauce. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So you know what you guys gotta do? Uh, we are here on um, YouTube, we're also on Pinterest, we're on TikTok, and we're on Instagram. So with that, I'm gonna let everybody go. You know what to do if you would like to donate a dollar, you scroll down to patreon.com, go ahead and donate that dollar. You can donate five dollars or 10, 20, 50, or 100, any amount that you want. We take that money when we get it at the end of the month and we add it up to what we have, the money that we put for the groceries. We buy the food, we come home, we make the videos from our house to the comfort of your home so you can uh, watch the videos. Thanks for supporting us and liking our videos. So without going to let everybody go, thanks for watching. We love you all. Always remember, don't drink and drive and take care of yourself. Thanks for watching.